This episode was brought to you by our generous patrons. Want to vote on the next game we play? Consider becoming a patron. And we are back. Are we sure this isn't DLC? I think Jin's <laughs> guys lied to me. I feel like they showed me that the end of the game was the last world. I was like, nope. Pulling the cat under the rug, or the rug under the cat, or keyboard. <laughs> they, they rolled the cat in the rug and made a cat. Or they a put that a, yeah. taquito. Maybe they put that glass table <laughs> over the keyboard, but the cat was like, "No, f- you, I'm still trying to do it." Oh, I was good. on Reddit earlier. Um, I forget who it was. I don't know the user, but she posted a video where she put one of our glass tables, like we have similar for our uh, stands that we hold up like, our computers. Like the animals, Am- 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 Amazon, Amazon riser. Yeah, yeah, like the Amazon riser. And the cat just looked at it and went, what the hell? I can see your hands. I want, I want, I want to press the keys. I love the one they have one where it's a, it's a rat underneath or a, maybe a mouse, some kind of rodent underneath the glass table, and the cats are looking around for him, and he's like, he's like uh, pressing up against the sides, holding up so he doesn't get caught by the rats. It's, it's ridiculous looking. So eventually she posted another video where she's like, I finally figured it out how to get, how to get the cat to stop. She put another keyboard on top of the keyboard. That's just, so she had her keyboard that she was typing on for playing games with or writing. Yeah. Underneath the table. Huh. And then she put that glass riser on top and then put another keyboard on top of that glass riser. Oh. So the cat could just walk all over the keys and just be like, nah, I'm good. Okay. Cat didn't know better. Kitty Kitty didn't know what to do, just wanted to hit all the clicky clacks. How far into the video are we? Uh, I mean, you already cussed once, so. Did I? Yeah. What did I curse? Um, about. 20 seconds in. Oh, what did I say? Fucking. Did I? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. All right, yeah. well, now I'm definitely going to say it. <laughs> fucking cats, man. Yeah, they're funny. They're lovable, but them. fucking cats. They're ridiculous. Oh, please. I mean that in a lovable manner, but man, fucking cats. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it, baby. I love kitties. If you weren't so allergic, I'd, I'd, I'd want to go get one. Yeah, I need a good reason to live with a cat. Oh, okay. I guess that's just a wall right there. To my left, that goofed me up. Nah, I love. I grew up with cats and stuff, man. They're they're my dad. They're is, little ridiculous. Yeah, my little, dad's highly allergic, guys. but um, my younger brother has cats. He has two cats. Oh, so in other words, I can never visit his house. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you said it was pretty minor, though. It's minor, but what it's not fuck? fun. It gets worse with like I could maybe live with one cat, but I would choose not to. I would need to. Yeah. I'd have to have a partner that already had a cat. And then I'd be like, well, I really like this person. <laughs> I will I'll, have to put I'll up with learn this. To li- I'll learn to live with it. Mm-hmm. But if they're like, hey, I'm going to get three other cats, I'm like, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> now, if you're like, well, this is my cat, I'm like, well, yeah, and I like you, so I guess I'll, I'll deal with the cat. And I'm stuck here now. And I'll, what so the fuck? What? You ran off the edge. No, but these hitboxes, man. Yeah. And I was clearly on top. And I the like, spikes are clearly to the sides. I like cats, and cats like me, too, which is kind of part of the problem, because, like, just like <laughs> dogs, they just come up to me and, like, rub their fur into me. I'm like, oh, man, you're so cute. And then I sneeze. I'm like, oh, right, that's That's, that's right. Thing. God has cursed me. God has cursed me. For, with my, liking... for my kitty hubris. Yeah, for my kitty hubris. <laughs> so if anyone ever thinks, like, oh, Sam doesn't like cats, like, I like cats. I just, I didn't grow up with them, because my dad's really allergic, and I'm slightly allergic, so it's like, ah, it's not... Mm-hmm. It's not a choice of living. If I have to choose, it's like, would I rather just have a dog? Yeah, I'd rather just have a dog because, you know. Not being, allergic? Being, yeah, because I'm, I'm not allergic. That's that's oh, the main fuck. thing. It has nothing to do with the quality of cats. I, I do like dogs a little except bit those, better. Except those naked cats. I don't like yeah. the naked sphinx cats. I don't like them. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't, I don't really I, I know a lot like of people love them. them. Um, it is, I don't So don't before like anyone says, like, yeah, like, oh, you could get a naked cat. It's like, here's the deal. I'm not going out to get a cat. Yeah. My only, like, recourse would be like, oh, the person I'm in a relationship with has a cat. I'll learn to live with the cat. I'll take medicine or shots or whatever I need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I'm willing to do that. What was it? The Kaiser Permanente like uh, ad 
where it oh, was. Yeah. Where's the guy? And he's like, his name is Mr. Fluffy, and I love him. Yeah. They're like, well, you're allergic, sir. And he's like, I don't care. Mr. Fluffy stays with me. <laughs> they're already, like, okay, yeah. well, let's talk about your options. They've already got a name. Like, I know what I'd have to do to take allergy medicine. So like, like I said, one, not that bad. I had a neighbor who had a cat, mm -hmm. and I would go over and visit all the time. Never had a problem. So maybe it's only certain cats. What is with this door? I don't know. Red, yeah. Oh, find all gem color gems to open. So that's a hidden door. Yeah, something. Ooh. Probably a bonus level. Yeah! Gotcha, baby. The shield didn't save you there. So I was listening to Mabim Bam mm -hmm. earlier, and they were talking about uh, Michelangelo, I believe, David? Yes. The statue? The artist. Yeah, Michelangelo's David. The, yeah, the Michelangelo's actual, David. Okay. The, the statue. Uh, I misspoke. Um, See, when you say Michelangelo, I know I should think of the artist first, but that's not where my mind goes. No, no, no. You automatically go to... Fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, okay. I go to the, Ninja, go to the Turtles. Ninja Turtles. That's, I thought that's... we were going to go a little further. Um, the uh, They were saying that that thing took like two years, and it's like 17 feet tall. Oh, yeah. It's ginormous, man. Oh, that's ridiculous Michelangelo to me. Michelangelo did not work small. Sistine Chapel, uh, Mary. I think it's he did Mary Magdalene. It's uh -huh. the one where Mary is holding um, the baby, big old statue in Rome, I believe. Mm -hmm. I actually got schooled by one of my students because I could have sworn that Michelangelo's David was in the Louvre, but it's actually somewhere in Rome. Really? Um, yeah. Which makes perfect sense because if I remember my history right, which I might make, <laughs> you're supposed to. I, <laughs> there's so much art history, man. There's only so much I can remember. Like I can remember who made it. Yeah. But knowing where art is and where it isn't, and <laughs> who's where art stolen is. it, and what happened to the art after World War II <laughs> in Europe, like who knows, Great. man. A lot of that shit's hard to remember. <laughs> I was trying to hold um, on there. Yeah. It just it just blew my damn mind that. It, it was it's 17 feet tall, yeah. and it took him two years. Like, I get that, you know, it probably mm -hmm. took him a while, but at the same time, I was like, two years seems like a long time. Well, but then I learned it was 17 yeah. feet. I'm like, okay, never mind. Yeah, 17 feet tall, marble, and you're just hammering at it away and making sure you don't make any kind of oh. mistake. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Michelangelo had a lot of really, uh, I mean, the church of, paid him a lot of money. Yeah, so. yeah, no, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he made bank for it. But yeah, Michelangelo Oops. is really one of the greatest Renaissance artists, just not for only his sculpture work in marble, but mm. also his just painting ability. What a bastard. <laughs> he got all the damn skills. How oh. dare he spend oh. his lifetime being such a creative genius. I do wonder... And getting paid adequately for it. Yeah. I really do <laughs> oh, wonder shit. how those artists... What's, what why did that light on fire? Nowadays. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, think it'd be really interesting. Get to, we've had this conversation a lot, not me and you specifically, Jesus, man. but um, we've had this conversation with my art friends a lot. Mm -hmm. um, there's just certain artists, similar to how they'll have the conversation about um, sports players. Mm. You plug like certain artists out of any era, like Norman Rockwell or Michelangelo, and they would just thrive. You just know they would. But I would be interested oh, to please see. Don't. There we go. What Sorry, the fire would was be like. What would they create, me. especially for artists that were so determined, like? They basically, most of the art that they created was based on the church because that's mm -hmm. who they were being paid. So, what were they going to do yeah. like, if they had the opportunity to, to do just whatever they wanted? To really create it oh, and shit. not be restricted by, you know, the ideals of the church yeah. and not have to create, I want like, you to draw naked Christian baby art. cherubs things. I mean, maybe you still wanted to do it. I was playing an MMO and someone said, hey, man, don't look up food at it. I was like, too late. I already know what oh, it is. Oh, God. <laughs> ah! Thanks, Internet. Yeah, thanks for, thank, oh, jeezers. Someone asked me to describe it, I said, well, have you ever seen The Hangover 2? They're like, yeah. <laughs> well, it's basically that, but anime. And they're like, ah. <laughs> <What> the <fuck? laughs> yeah, it's basically, basically Hangover 2, but anime. Yeah. I, okay. I, Is that not That an sounds interesting. I love Hangover Is, 2. I'm going to go look. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, maybe not the response that they were looking for. Um, but I thought that was the easiest way to kind of describe it. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, as I've said multiple times, you eventually just kind of go numb to a lot of that stuff because you're just like, yeah, no, I've, I've seen enough in real life that oh, seeing oh, oh, anime oh. versions of, you know, oh, anime women fuck, with man, those, we... <laughs> yeah. with you know, with that, it's like, yeah, all right, fine, Japan, do you, man, you do your stuff. Hey, this is someone's it, thing. If you're not hurting anybody, who cares? Oh. That's my rule. And speaking of anime and designs, boy, you sure oh, yeah. showed me. Uh, uh, what was it, Attack on Titans? New yeah, character so designs? New character designs. I believe they're for antagonists. I have no idea. I have a Oh, come Attack on. on. I was Titan. way above you. But this is a throwback, I believe, to a Hollow Knight episode where we talked about it. If it wasn't it, Hollow Knight. It was Knight, probably something like that, yeah. Probably Hollow Knight. I don't remember. Um, but we mentioned how 
uh, how bland the character oh. designs were. In they're they're very samey. They're very samey. Yeah. And I remember having to make the argument to people, and they're like, no, 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 it's because they're all in the military. Okay, explain Full Metal Alchemist to me then. They're like, yeah. ah. Shit. FMA's got cool, like, uh, uniform designs and stuff like yeah. that without having to... Jesus Christ, Yeah, man. without having the proportions be very samey. Um, I can't even move fast enough to get back onto that platform once it starts going. Yeah. Oh! Please don't... Um, yeah, I, I don't... I just didn't like the Attack on Titans, like, uniform character aesthetic. I and, said and it was it's not a, for me. I think it still ends. Nothing to do against yeah. the anime. It's just, you know. I just think it's a fun, funny argument when people are such fans of something and they're not yeah. willing to at least see, like, there's a little flaw here. Yeah. I watched Dragon Ball Z. I know it's dumb. Yeah. I do. I'm fully aware and I embrace it. I love it. <laughs> but, come on. I know it's dumb. I'm going to admit, like, yeah, no. They sit there and they scream so for, like, nine, hours. Yeah. It's nine stupid. Episodes. <laughs> but I love it. Is JoJo dumb? Jesus Christ! Yeah. JoJo's super dumb, but that's kind of the appeal of it. Yeah. Uh, you can love something and still find faults in it to a slight degree. That's like, called being an adult to some extent. Yeah. Being able to realize that, oh, man. you know, well, holy shit, like, there can be flaws in things that I like. Not everything has to be perfect, and I don't have to stand it to the point of absolute toxicity. Yeah. So many people... Um, stifling I've had this conversation, conversations of it. Stifling conversations about Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, the last couple of what is it? Probably last couple of months. Because um, I have a lot of buddies in my art crew that are older, so they saw Star Wars when it first came out. Yeah. So they pretty 15, much... 27. They pretty much disregard the prequels, and they always land fast. I'm like, hey, I know they're not great movies, but they're not that bad. There's a lot to like about them. Like, no, they don't mm -hmm. exist. I'm like, all right. I always find it funny that so many Star Wars fans, like, okay, I don't love the new trilogy, right? Mm -hmm. But it exists. It's part of the lore. Whether yeah. I like it or not, it it's just there, is. It's there, damn it. I always find it funny that people are like, these three movies exist and nothing else does. But what Man the fuck? Yeah. But Mandalorian came out, they're like, oh, but I love the Mandalorian. It's like, you do know that most of the Mandalorian's mm -hmm. lore is built upon the prequels, right? So you say those movies don't exist, <laughs> but most of the stuff that you're liking about <laughs> this new Mandalorian stuff is actually... Yes, it's from the Clone Wars show, but the Clone Wars show is directly based on the prequels. Yeah. With Lucas's involvement. He was heavily involved in the making of that show. I can say that because I had teachers that worked on that show, and they're like, oh, yeah, Lucas was, like, in tons of the Fuck. meetings. He was constantly talking about story stuff all the time. That's pretty tight. Um... But, I, yeah, I, just, I mean, I there's, there's, the, there's the choice of, like, well, this isn't canon yeah. it, in my head, but I love this. It's like, well, then how do you go about putting those two things together if yeah. they kind of have to work together, right? I don't like Dragon Ball Super that much, but it's canon. It is what it is. I think they make Goku really dumb to a degree where it's like, They flanderized uh, him, right, a little bit? Yeah, they, they basically flanderized Not that he him. wasn't, you know? Not that he wasn't dumb, but he was a bit more heroic in the way they played him in the Funimation original dub. He was a little bit more stern oh, in the original. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Like, he was more of that archetypal hero. Mm -hmm. Whereas when they kind of got to Super, they're like, we're going to play up the dumbness and hickiness of Goku to, like, the umpteenth degree. And it's like, all right, that's fine. It is it is what it is. Like, he's a dumb guy that fights. It's like, okay, that takes he's a... He's a dumb guy that fights. That's kind of... Takes, I love that. It's kind of like the new one. Like, a lot of the nuance is kind of gone, but all right, whatever. Like, it is what it is. Yeah. Animation's still kind of cool. Oh, um, shit. I didn't even see that fire. But yeah, I just find it funny. Me and my brother always made the argument. It's funny for people that say, I only like those three movies of Star Wars. And we almost go, maybe you just don't well, really like Star Wars. Well, maybe you, you just can, like those. You can only just like those three. You can only just like those three. But it, you have to kind of like the properties of a property in its entirety, you know? Yeah. I, that's why I find it's like, I'm a Star Wars fan. It's like, are you or are you just a fan of those original movies? God damn. Like, I feel like there should be like a clear distinction. Because me and my brother would always get a little upset with just individuals when we were younger. It's like, Ah, uh, yeah, all people love to do is bash them because, like, yeah, we get it. There, there's some bad acting in there. <laughs> like, it, it's obvious. You know, you can see the nostalgia critic bash on it constantly. Like, okay, cool. We, yeah, we all know it's not that great. Like, we're not unaware of the flaws of these movies. But oh, fuck, uh, there's a lot of cool shit in them too. Yeah, there is. Like, minus. Uh, like you said, the bad acting. Yeah, the nice. bad acting is, is... Bad acting's indefensible. That's just anywhere, yeah. yeah. That's, just, that's just bad. There we go. Damn it. I was hoping to just get that bottom one. This is gonna suck. I'm not gonna go for that. It's taking too long. 
But I don't yeah, think it's time for this. being the lone defender in my group of like 30 other individuals from oh, my fuck, art oh, crew, fuck. and it's just like, nah, man, I'm gonna die on this hill. I'm gonna die on this hill that the prequels have a lot of good redeeming features because the Mandalorian's Shit. proof of it. <laughs> yeah, like, I uh, and I like it. I like the Mandalorian a lot. Mandalorian is just fantastic. Oh it's, come on, it's the best thing that's Shit. come out of Star Wars in a long time. What? There we go. Um. And I'm liking this. It's really fucking hard. Oh, yeah. I can't go through there. Okay. I want to see it. Think about what was good about the, like, prequel series of cartoons and kind of elevates it to that next level that it needs to be at. Yeah. Oh, great. The mouse is here, too, now. What the fuck was that? Did I you see that screen jitter? That sucked. Yeah. Well, he died. You didn't, yeah, yeah. so. I'll take it. <laughs> I ween. No ducks allowed, by the way. No ducks. Is that like a... I think it's just you can't duck Oh, my God. Here. Please, with this Wi-Fi network. Shit. I turned on the Wi-Fi for Jen so that so she, she could, could she could do stuff instead of doing, a land. Instead of doing the landline. So I was sick of uh, reattaching well, it. Do we want to pause it here and then? No, just... I'll, I'll get it after you know, right. the next break. But uh, boy, howdy, that is annoying. I think that's what's causing the stuttering too. Yeah, I think it keeps trying to like connect connect the or something. Yeah, because it is bugging up. Man. I think you need to go from the up even higher. That one higher. has just got fire on it. No, though. no, I know, but I think there's going to be a third oh, one above I see you. What you're saying. Yeah, so I don't think you're going to have to get it from there. Oh. Uh, well, maybe not. Yeah. I could try. I could try something as soon as that fire goes down. Go down, fire. Fire! There you oh, go. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. That fire lasts forever, too. Can I not. Can I, can I get there? there but yeah, if you can watch Mandalorian, uh, and you haven't watched Star Wars in a while, and you still kind of enjoy Star Wars, I think you should get out of here. You should watch it. Yeah. You just go up above. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's nothing else down here. After, yeah, after three people bugging me to go watch, I was like, all right, fine. I'll go watch it as like <laughs> Fine, normal. you fuckers. I'll, I was always going to watch it. I was just going to wait till all of it was out. <laughs> well, the only problem with that is like, uh, spoilers. There's, there's spoilers potentially for a lot of that Problem stuff. Problem is, like, right? I knew about one of the main characters that was going to be in it, so yeah. it's just like, oh, well, all right, that's. I don't know, fucking. But can when I, I just not hit? Um, what I the got... fuck is it not existing? I don't know. Yeah, I think. What the just... fuck? <laughs> there we go. Oh. I got it though. But as soon as I saw like the spoiler for the name oh, of um, one of the characters in that show, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say because I don't want to spoil it for yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah. That... But there's like a character name reveal, and I was like. Oh, they revealed that? Okay, I should probably go watch before something actually, like, really significant gets spoiled. Mm -hmm. um, not that you... it's not significant, but, you know, it's just a name. Yeah. But still, you know, if you see the name, you're like, okay, I, I know what they're doing here. Okay. I can see what they're getting I done. I see where they're going. Oh, please. Oh, please. Just stay on it. I was hoping to get to at least the next checkpoint, but... This is fine. We'll stop here. Love you guys. See you later. Beep up poop. That's cool. It, it might be near cool. the end of the level, but I, I think it's going to be just past here. This this little past section, but probably. But I, I need to turn so. off all the stuff anyway. You know, I need uh, to go through and uh, turn off all the settings. Yeah, probably for the best. <sighs>